As promised after my previous video, I made a web app with Pinecone, Rapple. It's a daily hip hop guessing game and I'm either a bad developer or a bad hip hop fan because I cannot consistently win. But hey, it works. Go play it or stick around to hear more about it. I was going to frame this video as a tutorial, but it got way too long and complicated, as you can see here in my Escali draw. Instead, we'll call this a dev report and follow it up with a pinecone tutorial series based on my experience with Rapple. Subscribe to get notified when those videos come out, and as always, comment below if you'd like or hate this idea. Either way, the GitHub repository is linked in the description, so you do not have to wait for the series to come out. On to the project. I started with a virtual environment and my idea. I installed pinecone and got the dev environment running in the background. I wanted the backend running so I could get the songs into the database. For the songs, I searched for a list of rap hits. I used my super sneaky python scraper skills to yoink the artists and title names from a page I deemed acceptable. I took those and scraped the corresponding lyrics from a popular website along with some other information and dumped it into an output.json file. Writing and updating a json file is much slower than a database so I used pinecone's built-in dborm to copy my songs into the default SQLite database. Pinecone inserts your table with corresponding columns automatically from a class that inherits from PC.model, and then you use this class to interact with your model from the state class. Really, all this is just a wrapper on SQL Alchemy. I only needed to move the songs once from the JSON file, so I got rid of the code after completing that task. I used one model or table to hold all the songs, and used some logic to pick a song each day and insert it into another model, Song of the Day. I used the Python time module to decide what day it is. I inserted some logic so that the first user of each day causes a new song to be added to the song of the day model. As for the UI, it was clearly inspired by the likes of Wordle, Hurdle, and MLB Pickle. For the layout, Pinecone nests components inside of other components, which must be inside a single returned component from a function. This function represents the page. I only have a single page in my application. On top of this page, I also have a couple modals to tell the user what the game is about. When the game is over, it may look like another page, but in reality, I have chosen to use PC.con or conditional to toggle from the normal view to the game overview. I started with a vertical stack or V stack and listed my sub components in there. The most complex component is the PC.foreach, where I send lyrics from the backend to the UI depending on how many guesses the user has made. For the guess input, I program logic that grabs all the possible guesses that contains the string from user input and returns the top 8. The user then clicks one of these guesses and it is set as the current guess. At the bottom, the user can press a button to either skip or submit their guess with the UI updating with their choices. Finally, for the game over page, I made sure to track the user's guesses so that they can copy and paste their performance. Like I said earlier, I intend to deliver a more in-depth explanation about Pinecone and my approach so any questions you have, ask them below and click here to watch another Coding JQ video.